<laughs> Good evening, Alderman. Welcome to tonight's Common Council meeting. Before we start the meeting, we always ask our city clerk to read the quote for the week. Thank you. Have the courage to say no. Have the courage to face the truth. Do the right thing because it is right. These are the magic keys to living your life with integrity. Thank you very much. Call the 21st regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Please call the roll. Boren. Here. Bauk. Here. Gisha. Here. Hannah. Here. Heidemann. Here. Kittleson. Here. Clayunis. Here. Manny. Here. Meyer, Here. Montemayor, Here. Rinfleisch, Here. Ryan, Here. Smith. Excuse. Vanderweel, Verhasselt, and Wangaman. Here. 15 present. Quorum is present. Pledge of Allegiance, Alderman Montemayor, would you lead us? Thank you so much. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before we move on to approval of the minutes, I'd just like to ask everyone, please vote tomorrow, Super Tuesday. It's going to be a good election. So hope you can make it. The weather's not too good, but hopefully everybody will get out to vote. Approval of the minutes, President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would move the approval of the minutes. Second. Motion and second to approve <clears throat> minutes. Under discussion, Alderman Clayton is. S sorry, I'm, I'm out of order, I think, but um, the, we don't have election tomorrow. Well, we vote in two weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. Good <laughs> 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 sorry. All those in other states. Okay. <laughs> Please don't vote tomorrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rewind. I lived in Chicago too much, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. We're going to Illinois. Everybody votes in Illinois. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. All right. We do have a motion and a second to approve the minutes. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda, the uh, person is not here, so we're going to skip that. Public forum, Madam City Clerk? None. Hearings. First hearing, we have two hearings tonight for the benefit of the public and the council to listen to input if uh, the public so wishes to provide some. Number one to amend the text of the zoning ordinance so as to create a section relating to delaying demolition of significant buildings in the city to allow for a determination as to whether the building should be preserved and to seek solutions for preservations. Second hearing, to amend the text of the zoning ordinance so as to permit commercial animal boarding as a conditional use within the suburban industrial district and the urban industrial district and the conditional use regulation. Is there anyone that would like to address the council with respect to any of these two hearings? Is there anyone? Over here. Mr. Paul, Mr. Carter Paul, would you please step forward? Mike is on. Good evening. Mr. Paulus, which one are you speaking on? I'm speaking on the uh, first um, hearing uh, the text uh, changing the uh, zoning ordinance concer uh, concerning the uh, preservation. Preservation. Changing oh. of the preservation okay, protection. Okay, Thank you. Go ahead. I may proceed. Thank you very much. Good evening. I wish to lend my voice in support of the RO number 466-07-08 by the City Plan Commission recommending creation of the section of the zoning ordinance relating to delaying demolition of significant buildings in the city to allow for a determination to whether they should be uh, preserved or to seek solutions for preservation. The reason for the existence of this has come about because of 
an unfortunate incident that has happened in our community. And we are, we want to preserve our historical heritage. So I speak as a citizen and a highly taxed person in the city of Sheboygan, property tax-wise, also as a member of the National Trust for Historic Preservation, that it is imperative that we save the historical heritage that has been passed on to us, and it is our responsibility to keep and we are willing to put our money where our mouths are in the preservation of these historic buildings and have done so and will continue to do so. Therefore, we need your legal expertise in keeping and maintaining this protection for a vital part of our historical heritage. And I implore you to approve and move to adopt and create the ordinance that is being discussed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to address the council? Ms. Windsor? Can I, can I have your name, please? Good evening. Mary Ann Windsor. And which, are you speaking on the same one? Yes, on number one. Okay, very good. Go oh, ahead. Thank you. For over 40 years, I have been involved in historic preservation in the city of Sheboygan. If you remember the Sheboygan County Landmarks Organization, I was an officer in that organization. We developed fabulous workshops, which were very well attended in the 70s, have notebooks and information that were given to people, and it sparked a lot of interest in homes, whether it was 1900, 1912, 1925, whatever. We need these buildings. We've lost a lot of buildings on 6th and 7th Street, and perhaps that was necessary for downtown, but I think it becomes eroded, and we are getting erosion into our historic district in Sheboygan. Wonderful things have been done in the Ellis District, and I think as we drive through there, we see the street lights, the houses which have been improved, all to the benefit of Sheboygan. However, if we have people who are angry or emotional and can order a bulldozer on this emotion, we have a major problem with our historic buildings. We can't lose houses and buildings this way. And I think that the ordinance is an excellent one because it does give time for people to reconsider or to check into the viability of the particular structure. So I hope this ordinance will be supported by you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else that would like to address the council? Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to close the hearings. Second. Motion and second to close hearings one and two. Any discussion? There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Consent agenda, President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, before I make a motion on the consent agenda, I'd like to pull forward uh, RC uh, 2113, an RC by Public Works recommending uh, filing document uh, communication with the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, my reasoning is I'd like to refer it back to Public Works because the Marina Committee will be meeting this Wednesday night on the same topic, and I would like to give Public Works the benefit of the input from the Marina Committee. Excellent. Okay. 2113 will be referred back. Please proceed. Thank you. Uh, I would like to make a motion sorry, <clears throat> that I move that all ROs be accepted and placed on file. And all RCs be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. 21 1, 21 through 21 20. Under discussion, Alderman Renfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I don't think we need a, necessarily a separate vote at this time, but I would like uh, on document 21 8 A uh, an explanation, if I could, uh, Your Honor, from Public Works regarding what decision has been made regarding the issue of a city 
residents who uh, cuts the lawns of his neighbors. I would like to drop them off as a, as a professional at the city uh, um, because he's a city taxpayer uh, and to see if um, what the decision was. Thank you. Okay. Um, Alderman Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, this issue was discussed. Um, this um, is in place not to allow private businesses to drop off clippings and other such things at the drop off site. One reason is we cannot enforce it. If we let one person start bringing in his clippings from his business, we're going to have to allow everybody who has any kind of a business that involves anything they can drop off at the drop site, we're going to have to let them do it. Um, and I believe this is in place just for that reason. It is unenforceable, and it will open up a big can of worms. I don't know if, if Mr. Bittner would like to elaborate on it. Thank you, Mayor. Oh, Mayor is that OK? Oh, you, do you need more 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 explanation? Uh, then I would like to pull it forward uh, for a separate vote. Then, and um, I have no problem with with the discussion. What what number was that again, sir? Twenty one eight A. Twenty one eight A. Yes. Twenty one eight eight. Mr. Bidner, would you please come up, sir? The ordinance as set up and the facility as set up was, was to re really assemble residential yard waste. In other words, uh, bring in small amounts and trunks of cars and bags and, and uh, assemble that, then us truck it to a uh, a finished disposal site. When we open that up to commercial, uh, there's obviously some very small commercial operations in the yard waste business who bring small amounts in, but at the same time, there's very large operations in that area that would bring in huge amounts, and you're really thinking about at some point in time, people will be trucking into our site so we can truck it somewhere else, and it becomes somewhat, somewhat of an impractical uh, operation in terms of the scale we're trying to we're trying to operate at. Um, some of the points are, are somewhat obvious. I'm cutting the grass from from one yard. That if the person took it, they could take it there, but I, as a commercial entity, can't. Uh, that's very understandable as an argument. The problem is that where does that end? Where uh, we we currently work with people on whether or not they're really residents. Well. How do we even force the next step up that, that all this waste you're bringing into the site came, came from uh, Sheboygan residents? So it, it's really a, a, a practical operation that how big of an operation are you going to take? How big a drop site are you going to take? Uh, an, another example, a very similar thing is we also take and allow scrap metal to be dropped off. Well, are we going to allow scrap metal dealers to drop off scrap metal? Uh, that one's a little different because there's some value there. Uh, uh, but what we have and what was envisioned and what we have is a very simple way for residents to drop off small amounts. We assemble those into larger amounts and, and dispose of them in a more efficient way. And opening the door to commercial operations sort of uh, opens up a lot of problems for that concept. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bidner. Would you like to call for a separate vote on that? Uh, if I may, Your Honor. Yeah. Please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Your Honor. Um, I, I certainly, have, having sat on Public Works Committee previously, uh, when decisions were made to establish this committee, uh, the, the new drop-off site as it is, uh, I do understand the, the concern about having commercial uh, ent entities come forward but, uh, uh, and use that land area. But, however, I think we're forgetting the fact that it's a city taxpayer who is, does have a commercial business, who is cutting city taxpayers' lawns. Again, how can we verify that? We really can't. I understand that. Um, but a lot, off of those people that he's cutting those lawns would be senior citizens who don't have access to dropping all yard clippings off. I think we're going to find ourselves, if we don't at least allow some kind of, uh, of allowance for this aspect, that we're really doing a disservice to um, all of our city taxpayers. So while the, the motion is simply to file, I will vote no against that simply as a point to... Hopefully, we can find a different solution than the current one. Thank you. Okay. Would you like a separate vote? Yes. You do? Okay. Then I need somebody to make uh, Alderman Hedges' motion to accept and adopt uh, 2188A. 
So moved. Okay. Second. Motion and second to accept and adopt 21-8A. You want a roll call on this one? No. Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. One opposition. Thank you very much. Two. Two? Oh, okay. Alderman Hannah voted no. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have the balance of 21-1, 21-20 with the exception of 8A. There's a motion made on the floor and second. Alderman Montemayor. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I jumped the gun. I'm on the next group. Okay. <laughs> Just don't say vote tomorrow. <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> You're getting ahead just like I am, so. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're back. 21-1, 21-20, with the exception of 8A. Please call the roll. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Yesha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rindfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. And Wangeman? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions 2121 through 2123 to be referred. Please make a notation on 2121. That will also go to Public Works, Public Protection and Safety, and Public Works. Report of committees 2, 2124 to 2131 to be referred. My button doesn't seem to be Okay, okay. I'm sorry, all in one my Thank you, Your Honor. I'm, I'm back at 2122 and 2123. Okay. I move to file. Motion and second to file 2122 and 2123. And 2122 has been resolved. 2123 is a letter um, with a grievance. Thank you. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mo no. One no. Motion carries. Report of officers 2, 2124 and 2131 to be referred. Resolutions. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm back on 2126. Okay. <laughs> A motion to file. Second. Motion and second to file 2126 under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Call the roll. Okay, hold on. Just Please a call the roll. Bauk? No. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Kleunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? No. Ryan? No. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. And Wangaman? No. And Boren. <laughs> he's out. He's out voting. He's yeah. He should be voting. <laughs> Eleven eyes, four noes. Motion carries. Resolution is introduced three, twenty-one thirty-two by Alderman Hanna, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the two thousand eight budget, establishing appropriation in an escrow account for fifty percent city share of the shared services agreement with Sheboygan County. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First, I need to move to suspend due to the fact that this document needs to be at the county uh, by the 7th. Okay. Second. Is there a second? And uh, please explain so that in case there's any objection. Sure. The, uh, this is the, uh, the agreement for certain costs that will be uh, paid out of the original purchase of the 23rd Street site. And the deadline for us to have the document to the county is the 7th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's important that the uh, that the city um, appropriate its share so that the county can then see that the city has done its its part to move forward. Just please continue. My doc, thank you. Just so the people at home know, this is uh, six meg unit uh, computers, uh, joint dive team, uh, new boat motor and related equipment, and a digital analog repeater uh, for the UHF. Uh, station repeater. So it's it, all of these items are going to support continued shared services with the county. Absolutely. Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Well put. Anything else? Is there any objection to suspension? There is none. I need a motion. I would make a motion uh, 
and to put this upon its passage. Second. Motion and second to put 2132 upon its passage under discussion. Any further discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunis? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Bulk? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2133 through 2135 lies over. 2136 through 2140 to be referred. Please note 2140 will also go to Finance Committee. And I'd like to ask the Chair of Salary and Grievances to place it on the agenda before it goes to Finance Committee so that the Finance Committee has an opportunity to review that with the Salary and Grievances recommendations. Thank you. We'll do it Thursday. Okay, very good. Report of Committee 6, 2141 and 2142 to be referred. Report of Committee 7, 2143 by Alderman Bo by Law and Licensing recommending denying taxi cab driver's license number 5865 based on the applicant's repeat violations and the applicant's failure to cooperate with the committee. Vice President Bourne. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the report of the committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Motion and second. Uh, under discussion. Under discussion, Your Honor, is uh, Michael McIntyre here tonight? He's not here, Your Honor. Very well. Please proceed. Uh, Mr. McIntyre had two opportunities to appear before the committee, uh, the second one by certified mail, and uh, for the reasons uh, stated, uh, the repeat violations and failure to cooperate with the committee, it was a unanimous decision uh, not to grant the taxi cab driver's license. Thank you, Vice President Bourne. Any further discussion? There being none, please call the roll. Hannah? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Clayunis, Manny, Aye. Meyer, Aye. Montemayor, Rinfleisch, Ryan, Aye. Vanderweel, Aye. Verhasselt, Aye. Wangaman, Aye. Boren, Aye. Bauk, Aye. and Gisha. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Report of Committee 8, 2144 by Finance, recommending that the Pledge of Allegiance be placed on the agendas of and conducted at the meeting of all boards, committees, and commissions with agendas published and distributed by the City of Sheboygan's Office of the City Clerk. President Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first, I'd make a motion to accept and adopt 2144 and at the same time put Resolution 197-0708 upon its passage. Okay. Motion and second. Under discussion. Holman Bauk. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the, uh, the three veterans on the, uh, on the council have put forth this resolution on behalf of ourselves and the 13 other patriots on the, uh, on the council. I want to thank uh, Alderman uh, Jim Bourne for his mentoring of me through this resolution process. And uh, I'd like to make a, a friendly amendment to this uh, to just delay compliance until February 18th. That's two weeks from tonight. And that'll, that gives the city two weeks to uh, uh, get the flags and, and put them up in the appropriate rooms. Okay, there, there's a motion and a second to, uh, for an amendment to delay compliance. Under discussion on the amendment only. Alderman Gisha. Thank you, Your Honor. First, I want to thank uh, not only our, our veteran members, but uh, uh, other members that uh, were involved with this. And just a, a quick question. we. We have some meeting rooms that already do have flags. Do we know how many we need to do, or if some of these meetings are off premise and maybe rooms that aren't owned by the city? Is there like a little traveling flag or something that would be for those meetings uh, or something like that? I think it's a great idea, but I just want to know how many we need. We can have uh, oh, President Hannah. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, we're trying to identify the number of rooms that will require this. It's something more than six flags and no more than ten mm -hmm. at this time. And, and uh, Alderman Balk and I are working on pricing and, and getting that all okay. put together. Thank you. And uh, once, once it's determined how many flags we can have purchased and take care of it, and you guys take care of the paperwork, and we'll have it pretty quick for you in two weeks? All right, in two weeks. Anything else on the uh, 2144? There being none. Please call the roll. We need to vote on the amendment. I'm sorry. Well, please call the roll on the amendment. Or do you want to just do an all eyes on the amendment? 
All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Take care of that one. Yep. Need a motion to approve as amended? Second. Second. Call the roll, please. Heideman? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Clayunas? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangeman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Belk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. And Hannah? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Matters late over 11, 2025, RO number 4650708 by the City Plan Commission recommending amending the text of the City of Sheboygan official, official zoning ordinance in sections 15, point 105, point 203, point 206 so as to permit commercial animal boarding as a conditional use within the suburban industrial district and the urban industrial district in the conditional use regulation and passing the attached ordinance. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I move to accept and file the report of officer and the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second, under discussion. There be a none, please call the roll. Kittleson. Aye. Clayunas. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Wangeman. Aye. Boren. Aye. Balk. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah Aye. and Heideman. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 2026, RO number 4660708 by the City Plan Commission recommending creating section 15.916 of the Sheboygan Zoning Ordinance relating to delaying demolition of significant buildings in the city to allow for a determination as to whether the building should be preserved and to seek solutions for preservation and passing the attached ordinance. All in one to Thank you, Your Honor. And I, I would love to move and accept and file the report of officer, but I bet Alderman Ryan would like to put the ordinance upon its passage, if that's all right. That's fine with me. Alderman Ryan, would you like to do that? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, put, uh, I move to uh, put the ordinance upon its passage. Okay. Okay, this is a little tricky here because we got two motions on the floor. We're going to take your motion first. Should have told me about this one. And we don't have a second. <laughs> huh? And we don't have a second for Mary Montana. Could we have a, a motion and a second to file any discussion on filing? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any op opposed? Motion carries. Now we have a uh, motion by Alderman Ryan. Was there a second to that? There was a second to put the resolution upon his, the ordinance upon its passage. Any discussion on that? There is none. Please call the roll. I'm sorry. Alderman Weinman. Thank you. Uh, as our so-called city historian, I think this is something that's way past due. In fact, several years ago when I was on uh, the Historic Preservation Committee, the city of Sheboygan was granted a $19,000 grant to survey the city for historic buildings. And this was done, and they were photographed, and these photographs exist. At that time, we had been working with the Information Services Department where they could actually take these addresses, feed them into the computer, set up some kind of a system, so that if anybody would come in for a building permit, reference one of these buildings, it would be flagged and it would pop up, and it would be sent to the appropriate committees to determine whether uh, this was a good idea or not. And we didn't want to be house Nazis or anything like that. What we wanted to do was sit down with these people and perhaps uh, talk to them, uh, counsel them, perhaps uh, give them advice or ideas on how they could actually uh, preserve their building because all you have to do is take a walk down 8th Street. You know, our, our street looks like, 8th Street looks like an old lady with half her teeth missing. I mean, we've got openings all over the place and uh, there just was so much done years ago with little or no plan behind it. And it really makes you wonder why some of these uh, marvelous old buildings were torn down. Uh, I hate to make comparisons, but if you drive through Sheboygan Falls in Plymouth, you'll see what I, 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 I'm talking about. Plymouth, uh, Sheboygan Falls a while back was granted a uh, Hometown America Award for a fine looking downtown. And Plymouth is it's quite beautiful. And it's maybe not too late to put the cork back in the bottle, but there was a system that uh, had been set up, and I know these photographs exist, and I think I know where they are, and all these addresses, and we had been awarded 
that $19,000 by the State Historical Society. And when they gave us the award, we, we sent in an application and we got an answer back like within two or three days and they said, my God, what happened to you as people? We thought you had all dropped off the map there in Sheboygan. We were one of the last cities in Wisconsin to apply for this kind of a grant. So that information is still out there somewhere and uh, I'd be happy to share that with anybody who's interested in it. So thank you. Thank you, Alderman Juan. Alderman Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, to expound upon uh, what uh, Alderman uh, Wangaman has said here, um, the, uh, there was a, uh, uh, an architectural and historical intensive survey report that was conducted in the city in the years 2000, 2002, 2004, and 2006. And all of the properties that have been deemed to be possibly historically significant are in this report. These are the properties that will be earmarked through the uh, building department. The, the, uh, uh, bit to, when you obtain a, a building permit to raise, it will be flagged. Um, and basically what this uh, ordinance is doing is, is putting a 90-day a hold on that property. Now, if the, when the Historic Preservation Committee meets, if it's determined that this property really has no historic significance or that the, the greater need of the community or for, the, uh, uh, for growth in the community um, warrants uh, um, the destruction of this property, uh, then it will not be held up. But basically what this is designed to do is to at least put a flag on that property that it may be of historic significance um, in order to stop people from pull pulling a permit one day and raising a property the next. So that is, that is the only uh, purpose of this, is to, to investigate whether it is historically significant or to offer a cooling off period, possibly finding another solution. So, thank, thank you. Thank you, Omar. And before, Omar Hassel. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I guess uh, just a question for the authors of this document. Will it influence the uh, a homeowner's decision to alter or remodel or restore their existing home? W will they need a special permit? Alderman Ryan, did you address that? No, Mr. Mayor, it will not. Um, this is basically, uh, this is strictly to determine raising the property is, is, is what this ordinance is about. Okay, thank you. And before we take a vote, I, I um, I too am glad that this ordinance is before you and that we had this public hearing and I urge everyone to vote uh, unanimously. I, I think that you will. Uh, certainly uh, Carter Paulus and Marianne Windsor have been champions of protect, protecting and preserving our historical uh, heritage in Sheboygan. My friend, the late uh, Dr. Windsor, was one of them too. Um, and there's a lot of people uh, in Sheboygan like these two individuals here, Mr. Paul, uh, Carter Paulus and Mary, Marianne Windsor, that really care about these beautiful buildings that still are, are hanging around, so to speak, uh, but are in danger of being torn down. And um, I don't like old buildings being torn down myself either, so I urge everyone to um, support this. Please call roll. Clayunas. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Ryan. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Verhasselt. Aye. Wangaman. Aye. Boren. Aye. Bauk. Aye. Gisha. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. And Kittleson. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Thank you very much. 2045 resolution number 1960708 by all the persons Hannah, Bourne, Clayunas, Bauk, and Gisha authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2008 budget, establishing appropriation for office equipment maintenance for the city clerk. President Hannah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd make a motion to put resolution 1960708. Eight upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being none, please call the roll. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Ryan? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Verhasselt? Aye. Wangaman? Aye. Boren? Aye. Bauk? Aye. Gisha? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Clyunas? Aye. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Went along. Other matters. Attorney McLean. 2145 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Michael Iskin, chief financial officer of Fresh Brands Distributing, Inc., requesting a parking zone change to remove the time-limited zone that exists in front of their facility at 2215 Union Avenue. That will be referred to public protection and safety. 2146 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of appropriations in the 2008 budget. 
That will be referred to finance. <clears throat> 2147 is an ordinance amending section 2975 of the 1975 municipal code so as to change the job code and the job description for the lieutenant of police assistant yes, shift supervisor operations division in the police department table of organization. Okay, hold on a minute. I didn't get it back. Alderman, who has 2147 on your desk? Please sign it. No, no. We need the original. The original. It needs to be signed so we can act on it. Otherwise, we can't. No, it would have a red mark on it. Please check. Somebody has it. We can go ahead and lie it over and I'll get another copy. Uh, well, they can sign you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was so intent on voting. <laughs> I think you did. I think you did. We need one more uh, to sign it. Or is it one signature now? It, it, it's all signed except for Okay. Thank you, Alderman Gisha. <laughs> that one lies over. Thank you, Alderman Gisha. 2148 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2008 and June 30, 2009. That will be for law and licensing. President Hanna, motion. Turn. Second. Second. Motion, second. Motion, second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Stand adjourned. <laughs>